let us talk about straight line graphs. There are a lot to know about these graphs. Firstly, the general equation for the straight line graph is as written in this form, a, x plus b y plus c equals zero. These a, b and c are constants, and bear in mind that a and b cannot be both equal to zero because that will be no longer the graph anymore, it will be something else. So, this general equation can be rewritten in this standard form which is known as the gradient y-intercept formula. In this formula, this letter m is the gradient, or slope of the graph, which simply means the rate of change of y with respect to x. And this c is y-intercept, which means where the graph will cut through on y-axis. So, to find x-intercept from this gradient y-intercept formula, you simply make y equals zero, because through on this x-horizontal line, y is zero, then you get x-intercept value where the graph will pass through on x-axis line. Same as you have to find y-intercept, you simply make x equals zero because throughout in this y-axis line, x is zero, then you get y-intercept where the graph will pass through on y-axis line. For now, let us see how to sketch the line graph on this given equation, 3y plus 2x equals 6. Remember I said that, to find where it will cut through on y-axis, we make x equals 0, so when we do that on this equation we find y equals 2. Same applies on finding x-intercept, wherever there is y on this equation, we put 0. By doing so, we get x equals 3. Now, we sketch the line graph from these two points that we have just found. The line of this graph starts here and pass through at this 3 on x-axis line, and moves straight to pass through at 2 which is y-intercept. That how the straight line graph looks like. Let us see how the straight line graphs can be characterized. Now we bring back this gradient y-intercept formula. If there are two straight lines which are parallel to each other, let us represent the first line by this equation, and other line by this equation. So because we say they are parallel, therefore this m2 will be equal to this m3 which simply means their gradients are the same, and bear in mind that these lines are not necessarily to be in the same length. To see that the straight line equations have the same gradient, they have to be both in standard form, like these two equations, they are both in standard form so it is easy to see that the gradient is the same. But let us look at these two. So, we have 3 on both sides here, but we cannot finalize by saying gradient is the same. It is because this one is in general form which needs to be converted to standard form, this y needs to be by itself on this side of equal sign like this other one. Then when they are in the same form, that is when you can decide the gradient.